Ever feel lost in a sea of books whenever you go to your English class? Being choked by boring texts and the same old, same old story you've heard over and over and over? You wish your voice could be as powerful as this picture? We got the solution for you. It's the all new Satire Starter Kit. Satire is the process of attacking by ridicule through any medium. Satire is meant to bring about a change in the human condition through the use of understatement, overstatement, irony, wit, sarcasm, and parody. A piece of satire usually identifies a problem with politics, society, the economy, education, school cafeteria food, Laguna Beach, you name it, satire can be used to mock it. Just note the French mockery of these poke bonnets that were in high fashion in the day. But why do I need satire? Ever heard of the tree octopus problem? The phrase, coined by an internet hoax, refers to internet literacy issues. This website about the Pacific Northwest tree octopus was posted in 1998 and still today has many people, especially adolescents, believing that the tree octopus exists. Hoax photos like these are put up on the website, making the site seem more and more... credible? Don't let this happen to you. Buy the Satire Starter Kit now, and you won't look like a fool when your friends try to trick you. You can instead impress your friends with your thorough examination of the satirization of quests for Bigfoot, and how we all too often fall for conspiracy without checking the facts. As you can see, satire is like a code, with the true meaning embedded in exaggerated characters and situations. The ability to decode satire is vital to understanding the messages thrown at us every day. Our researchers here at Satire Inc. have found that the meaning of satire is often lost in translation. People may find it funny, but may not get the point of it. Don't be one of those fools stuck in humor for humor's sake mode. Buy the Satire Starter Kit now, and you'll be able to decode embedded messages, argue and persuade in a more effective manner, enhance your perception of human nature, and mock society. What more could you need? But how does the Satire Starter Kit work? Well, various works included in our Starter Kit split into two main categories of satire, Horatian or Juvenalian. Horatian satire is more light and amusing. It comments more on social follies as opposed to social evils. The voice and tone of Horatian pieces are usually indulgent, amused, and witty, leaving the audience with a wry smile at the end. Your starter kit includes a range of Horatian satire from Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock, a mock epic poem written in 1714, to The Onion, a contemporary parody newspaper. The Onion claims to be America's finest news source. Just look at their use of exaggeration to parody the assassination of JFK and the abundant conspiracies that followed. But tonight, but tonight, on the, small planet. the Rape of the Lock satirizes petty arguments of the aristocracy by elevating them and comparing it to the days of Homer and the epic. If you order the kit, you will see Pope utilize the verbal structure and form of epic poetry to do so. Juvenalian satire is more shocking, usually has a serious mocking or sarcastic tone, and is very pessimistic and cynical. It attacks the evils of society and usually does not give a bright outlook for the future. In 1729, Jonathan Swift anonymously published the canonical Juvenalian work, A Modest Proposal for preventing the children of poor people in Ireland from being a burden to their parents or country and for making them beneficial to the public. Swift proposes a satirical solution to the mistreatment of the poor in Ireland. And let's just say the content of the essay is, er, fleshy. You'll surely be in for a delightful treat. Aldous Huxley satirizes the consumerist society of his time in 1932 in Brave New World. This dark story provides a bleak outlook for the future, where all values, morals, emotions, and free thought are not welcome. The government of Huxley's world assures that their citizens will feel superficially satisfied and content, 
so that they do not realize that they are forfeiting their personal freedom and individuality. Will John, a major character who lived away from the world state's influence, succumb to the degraded commodities of society? Buy our kit now and find out for yourself. William Hogarth, English painter, social critic, and editorial cartoonist, is credited with pioneering sequential art. In 1743 to 1745, he painted a series entitled Marriage a la Mode. The series satirizes ill-considered marriages for money, and also critiques the foolish nature of the aristocracy and the rising merchant class of London. Heed this warning from Hogarth, ladies and gentlemen. Marrying for money may lead to an unhappy marriage filled with scandal, affairs, STDs, drugs, rock and roll. The paintings are chock full of stark contrasts that enhance Hogarth's criticism. Here is a special sneak preview of the satirical series paintings by Hogarth with commentary from Minnie Driver. The first of the series, entitled The Marriage Settlement, we see an unhappy marriage about to ensue. The couple's fathers are marrying their children off for money and title. The soon-to-be bride and groom face away from each other, a foreshadowing of their doomed marriage. The young groom, son of an earl with failing assets, looks vainly into a mirror. Ah yes, here we have the tete-a-tete. The young married couple sit in a dirtied room in their home. The young man has contracted syphilis, as Hogarth portrays by a black patch on his neck. It is implied that he has been out at the brothels a little too long. In the inspection, we see the young man has gone to a quack doctor to take care of his sexually transmitted disease. And now we come to the toilette, where the young couple has now gained their titles of Earl and Countess. It is apparent, if you look to the right, that the wife has begun an affair with a family lawyer, Silvertongue. Also note the paintings in the background. A lot of them are very religious, and also overtly sexual. What could this stark contrast imply? Silvertongue kills the young Earl. The wife decides to end it as well in the end. If you look to the left, her father is taking off her ring so it can be sold later. And her child giving her her last kiss is crippled because of her father's STD. Are you still trying to marry for money now? Like I said before, our kit offers you a plethora of satire. Here's an example of the really popular video parody. Shows like Saturday Night Live and Mad TV take real life situations and exaggerate them or parody them. This clip makes fun of MTV's hit show, Laguna Beach, a show about affluent kids in California who, well, let's just say Mad TV hits the nail on the head with this one. If you're still not a believer in the Satire Starter Kit, then check out our activity book. Watch as we transform this simple sentence from social critique into sensational satire. Just call 1-800-START-ME-UP. That's 1-800-START-ME-UP. For your satire starter kit today.